best way to teach a beginning player the proper batting stance is to keep it as simple as possible. And what we're going to do is we're going to position ourselves in the batter's box to a comfortable spot in relation to the home plate where we're well balanced, we're able to touch the outside part of the plate. And then from this position here, what we're going to do prior to getting into our batting stance is have a transition move from after touching the plate into our batting stance. And that is we're going to do just a little bit of a waggle or bat move over the top like this. And this is going to help us keep some of that energy moving and flowing so we're not so rigid and just waiting there in our batting stance. So after we touch the plate, it's a little bit of a waggle. And then from here, simply enough, we're just going to put the bat on our shoulders this way. What that's going to do is that's going to allow for us to be in athletic stance with our knees slightly bent and our weight is evenly distributed 50-50. So you want to make sure that players aren't too far backwards or forwards or open or have their stance closed like this. We want to keep them as, as square as possible with the bat on our shoulders. Now this is going to help the grip too. You don't want to talk too much about grips with players because this is something that is a result of how their, their bat is in relation to their body. And so by keeping their elbows relaxed and the bat resting on the shoulder, that's going to allow for a proper grip where they'll hold the bat somewhere in between their fingers and their palm. So we don't want to get them thinking too much about knock knuckles lined up or pointing their fingers up to see where their grip is. This is a result of the proper way that they're holding the bat in relation to their shoulder and their body. If you get them thinking too much about their grip at an early age, um, it, it could affect their swing because this is something that should just be natural and feeling because you'll notice some players do hold the bat in their palms. Some players have grips like this in the major leagues. Other players have grips like this. Some players even have, there's a player that had a grip like this. Some players will have a grip like this or like this. So that's more of a personal preference thing. It's not like holding a baseball, either a four seam or a two seam, but at the very least you want them to hold the bat on their shoulder with their elbows relaxed and help create that sense of empowerment for the players so they're not being told exactly how to hold the bat. All right, so from this position here, they're set. This is their batting stance. So let's practice that again. Just get them into this feeling of confidence so they can practice this motion here with a little bit of waggle, either under, over, or even like this. I, I think it's important for you to give the player the option on how they want to do this so they can take ownership of it at an early age instead of being told how to do it. And they'll, they'll probably have a lot more fun knowing that it's their own craft that they're honing. All right, so one more time, they're going to step in. We've already talked about that in a separate video. Touch the outside part of the plate to measure and then transition with a waggle into their batting stance just like this.